I'm Dr. Angela McBrady of drflute.com, and today's video is a review of the Northbridge flute. So today I'm going to review three different series of the Northbridge flute. If you like any of the flutes I'm trying, or you're just in the market for a flute or a head joint or uh, a piccolo, uh, alto flute, or even a bass flute, go to flutecenter.com, use my code D-R-F-L-U-T-E. And with that code, you get a few perks. And one of those is free shipping for the instruments that you are trialing. You'll also have a 10-day trial instead of a 7-day trial. And if you purchase, you get an 18-month warranty instead of a 12-month warranty. You'll also get 10% off of sheet music if you're looking for that. So let's talk about these Northbridge flutes. So I have three. I have a 500 series, a 600 series, and a 700 series. Well, let me tell you about the Northbridge just a little bit first. Uh, they have a handcrafted head joint. So all of the models, whether it's the five, six, or 700 series, are all having the same exact McKenna head joint. So uh, Chris McKenna has been making head joints for a long time. And I've tried out their head joints at various uh, flute conventions, because that's a great place uh, if you're in the market for um, a head joint just to go to a convention. And then you get the Flute Center is going to be there, and they have all their different uh, head joints uh, available for you to just trial right there at the convention. So I've tried some McKenna head joints before and I, I really like them. I think they're great. So all of these flutes have a hand cut McKenna head joint uh, and they are solid or sterling silver. They are sterling silver. So that is a fabulous uh, kind of head joint to have on an intermediate flute. Uh, so that right there is a great thing. And it doesn't matter if you're 500 to 700 series. And the difference between five and seven is a thousand or so, a little bit more than a thousand dollars with the 600 series, you know, halfway in between. So that is the head joint. Now, all of them have the Pisoni pads, which is a certain type of pad and it's a, a wonderful pad so I think you'll be really happy with the way they seal and the way they respond to those pads. They're known for their projection and their control in that I'll play a little bit and you can make a decision yourself whether you think that they have that projection and control. It's supposed to be very responsive third octave and sometimes let's face it our third octave is a little bit tricky so let's let's take a look at that third octave when I start playing them. Uh, they also have drawn tone holes, so are two different kinds, are drawn or soldered, and each of them have a little bit of a different response uh, when you have drawn or soldered. All of the Northbridge have the drawn tone holes, and I do have a video on uh, drawn versus soldered tone holes, so I'm not going to get into that now, but they're all drawn, and that's a good thing. It's just basically preference, whether you like the soldered or the drawn tone holes. Um, let's see, they all are uh, an A442 intonation. So instead of A440, which if you're, um, I think flutes these days a lot of times are made on that A442 scale, that's what these all are made. Uh, they also all have a silver plated mechanism. So while there's going to be a difference in the body, there's the 500 series has a silver plated body, the 600 and 700 both have silver, sterling silver bodies. All of them have silver plated mechanisms. Let me play a little bit on this 500 series. Now I've been playing around with this 500. At first I thought it was a little bit hard for me to get a good tone or adjust to it. But the more I play on it, the better I like this. So remember, this is silver plated body, sterling silver head joint. So it's going all the way up and all the way down. Well, I didn't play the low B, I played a low C. 
I did think that the third octave was pretty easy to play. So, yeah, I do think that that was easy to come out. I'm not sure the low register is the same. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. I didn't like it the first time I played it, but now... I mean, even trying to put a little bit of edge on it. Yeah, I think it's really nice. Now, I think the mechanism is just a tiny bit bulky in my hands. Maybe it doesn't feel... Of course, I'm used to my professional model, uh, and so this is a little bit... Um, a little bit clunky, but that is because, um, you know, the professional models are handmade all the way down in the precision. And of course, you're going to pay a lot of extra thousand dollars to um, to have that. But I do think this is a good feeling. I like the way it feels. It's smooth and uh, it sounds sounds pretty good. So let me try the 600 series. So this one has a silver sterling silver body. Uh, and so the head joint being the same as that 500 series. Oh yes, there is a difference. So one thing that's different is that this has the Y key arms. Uh, the 500 series and the 7 have pointed key arms. That's hard to actually show exactly the difference here, but you can hear it. Let me see. Then the, this still has the Pisoni pads. It's supposed to be known for its warm tone control and response. So let's see, does it warm up the tone a little bit? I think it does. I think it definitely has a warmer tone. I feel like I don't have to work as hard to warm up that tone. I felt like I had, did have to work a little bit hard with the silver plated body, but with this, it comes out a little bit easier. Now, I also feel like the mechanisms might be the same, but to me, uh, they feel a little bit less clunky. This feels like um, the response is just a little bit quicker on this. Uh, what did I play? I should probably play the same thing in all, and I did not play that with a 500, but let me just do... That sounds nice. I like the way it feels. Uh, it has you know, your B foot. It doesn't have the splitty mechanism or any of the real extras, but it feels pretty good. Let me look at the 700 series, which is this one. This one, is the difference again with that key arms, it has the pointed key arms instead of the Y key arms, which is that one that I just played. Let me play a little bit. I 
think it really warms up that third octave. Uh, I think up to the high C, it didn't sound as spread or as shrill as maybe the 500 series did. While it, the, it was easy to get that third octave, uh, I think there's a huge difference in the way it sounds. I think this gives us more resonance and a little more rounded, warm color there. Let me go all the way down. Well, that's definitely the easiest of all of them. So the the um, 600 to 700 series, um, I think that the only difference is the Y key arms or the pointed key arms. And uh, they have the same head joint. Uh, and they're the same thickness. So all three of them have the medium wall thickness, which is 0 0.016 as well. So as far as weight goes, this one and the others compare favorably. Now, this is a tiny bit heavier because it does have split E and it has the uh, C sharp trill and the split E, which is here. It does have those extras here. So that does make the weight of it a little bit. I don't really notice it a lot, but the bodies are still the 0 0.016, so they're still medium. Uh, this is supposed to have subtle differences in, respon in response and uh, aesthetics, and I feel like those subtle differences in response are immediate. I almost feel like it's a little bit darker in color. Do you hear that? Uh, let me play that opening line again of the Hindemith Sonata Movement 3. I do feel like that gives me the best tone. So for about 500 more, 550 more maybe, between the 600 and the 700 series, I'd probably save my pennies and spend that a little extra money. Now, if I wanted this, uh, this 500 series model, I'm just gonna play that opening phrase again because I didn't do it the first time. So here is that opening phrase. not bad at all for a silver plated body. I feel like it's just as easy to play. In fact, it feels really easy to play. The sound comes out very nicely. And uh, I, I feel like there is there is definitely a difference in the tone. I mean, the, the warmth that I'm looking for isn't quite here in this model, but for a very reasonably priced step up or intermediate flute, uh, I think this, this is a great, a great buy with this hand cut head joint. You don't get that on all the intermediate flutes where you have an actual head joint maker who makes, you know, just a lot of professional head joints is making these silver, sterling silver head joints for this uh, intermediate series. So uh, that really adds a lot of value to this instrument and it's very reasonably priced. So. Uh, I think if you're going for the lower level intermediate flute, I think this Northbridge flute would do well for you. It's just a little bit clunky in here. Um, and I think the sound is great. Uh, the sterling silver head joint gives it the, the quality that you can want. If you can add a thousand dollars or a little bit more to your budget. I would go with the 700 series because it is a sterling silver body as well as the head joint. And it does have the split E and the C sharp trill. Uh, I think that's worth it for you. Uh, if you have any problems with hands or the weight, this it's a little bit heavier for this hand. I don't find it so much in this hand uh, because the extra keys kind of center in this area. Uh, and so my finger here is going to take the weight of that. There's a little extra weight. Uh, but for a really nice flute that doesn't have those extras, I, I think you can get the 700 series without the extras as well. You can do that. 
uh, but the 600 series, which lies right there in the middle, still has a really nice tone as well. So give them a try. Or if you're in the market for a step up instrument uh, and you're trialing a couple of flutes, try a Northbridge. Try one of the series that's in your price range and see if they compare with your other intermediate flutes. But I think they're a good buy uh, and you can't beat that hand cut sterling silver head joint. Have fun trialing flutes. That's today's video.